Figure out what necessary actions you need to take that are required for you to get your fucking name off of that lease. You should not be held accountable for what they're doing, okay? Y'all already know this video is sponsored by carmarshall.com, okay? Make sure y'all check them out. If you or somebody you know is looking for a new or a used vehicle, okay? Or if you just want to support me a step further, type in your zip code, click on the dealer prices, man. That is how I get paid. I appreciate you guys so much. Carmarshall.com is basically a service where you can go on there, they negotiate the prices, and you come out with the car of your dreams, okay? So make sure that you guys go click on that link in my description down below. It's also in my pinned comment. Y'all do that for me, and I really do appreciate the support. You guys have really been holding me down on that. So it means a lot. Without further ado, enough with the talking. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Welcome back. To another motherfucking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be like, like, <laughs> Let's not go too soon now. <laughs> and a lot of girls say they might not. I would rather pass that one to you. And today, baby, y'all already know what's going on. In this video, man, today, as you can see, the topic of discussion is going to be Nay and Meech, okay? So, what, babe? Are you doing already? Yeah. What you doing right now? Y'all already know Nay and Meech have broke up some time ago, and they both have seen to move on, okay? Now Nay has Cammy. And now Meech has Miss Jalen. All right, before we get too deep into this video, man, it's gonna be a short video first and foremost. Make sure right underneath this video, you check out my Diamond Life, Diamond Dynasty, baby. Merch, man, everybody who has already copped. Thank you guys so much. And everybody who's about to cop it to your motherfucking drop. Thank you guys as well. Also, listed in my description down below, you will see my spiritual channel. Make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you guys so much who have already done so. And if you're about to go do that after this video, Video. Thank you guys as well. You will have an option to do that at the very end too. And without further ado, man, if you have not already, make sure you join in honesty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know exactly what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to today, Angel Mama, today, Uncle Joe, he's still a hoe. Let's get right into it. This motherfucking video, let's get it y'all. So man, today on this video, I guess it's gonna be a double upload day today. So on this video, man, y'all have been spamming me to react to this tea, okay? Like I said, we have more details that is coming out of this Nay and Meech breakup, okay? Their breakup is being exposed right now, okay? Guys have been sending me all types of screenshots and stuff like that. Y'all wanted my opinion on this whole situation. Meech has brought this up on her IG story. She basically brings up an email, which I will put right here on the screen, okay? This is an email titled Excessive Noise in the subject line, okay, from Meech's old residence, which is where Nay is still staying, okay? With Cammy, I don't know if they stay together, but Nay definitely still stays there, okay? According to what Meech is saying. So I'm going to go ahead and read this email right here, okay? So Meech says, I'm gonna just leave this right here, okay? March 14th, the apartment complex reached out to both Nay and Meech, okay? Regarding a noise complaint, an excessive noise complaint, all right? So, the apartment complex says, hello, Shanae and Michelle, okay? She says, even left my government up so y'all know it's real, all right. So, it says, our office has recently written, oh wait, our office has recently written complaints of excessive noise coming from your home over throughout the night. The noise was described as fighting, throwing objects, and loud music. The noise has been so unbearable that the police have been called and have come to your home. We wanted to bring this matter to your attention so that this problem will be addressed immediately. We understand that you may not realize that the noise you are making is disturbing to others. Please keep in mind that noise can sometimes travel to homes around yours. We would like to remind you the quiet hours start at 10 p.m. and end at 8 a.m. Please take the steps necessary to prevent this type of activity from occurring again. Should this type of disturbance continue, please know a 30 day, I said a 30 day notice will be issued to you and a move out date will be given to you to relinquish possession of the home. 
That means you're getting a motherfucking boot. As always, please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have signed the apartment complex, okay? So Meech is basically putting it on blast, all right? She is putting it all out there. And from what you guys are saying, Nay has not responded, Nay has not posted anything, okay? She is very, very quiet, and I'm wondering if she's ever gonna address the situation, okay? Moving right along. So, Meech responds back to the email saying, good morning. This is Michelle. I would like to say that I no longer live at that apartment. I moved out around September. I live in California now. So whatever is going on over there has nothing to do with me. Please, 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 please remove me from the mother mm, lease. Thank you so much, okay? Now, if you have been in several apartments, you would know that you can't just send an email telling apartment complex to remove you from the lease. It is a lot more challenging than just that, okay? Possibly, maybe you can go in person, sign some papers and get yourself off of the lease. Possibly you can pay a certain amount to get off of the lease. Oh, how great it would be to be able to just say apartment complex, hey, yeah, we got into it, or hey, we broke up, I'm not there anymore, take me off the lease. But since contractually, they have to have you sign certain documents to tie you into the lease, to make you responsible for whatever goes on in that apartment complex, to hold you accountable for whatever happens in that apartment. It's not that easy. Okay, so Meech, you might want to call up there and find out what steps, what necessary actions you need to take to get your name off of that lease. Maybe you have to take a trip, you know, possibly you might be able to do it over the phone, but just sending them an email telling them to take you off the lease, I don't think that that's going to fly, okay? I could be wrong and, you know, they could just take you off the lease, but from my knowledge, you actually have to go up there, find out an arrangement, sign some shit to get you off the lease, and sometimes you have to pay some money, all right? So figure out what necessary actions you need to take that are required for you to get your fucking name off of that lease. You should not be held accountable for what they're doing, okay? Meek says, reason why they contacted me was because I am still on the lease, but I haven't even lived there since September. It doesn't matter. If your name is on the lease, you are liable and you are responsible, okay? That's like me signing a lease, letting my homeboy stay there or whatever, and we pay half the rent. I bounce, we come to an agreement that he's gonna pay, you know, for the uh, reoccurring charges every month. I'm leaving out, you know, we didn't, we didn't, our friendship didn't work out, so I left, right? Doesn't matter, my name is still stuck on that lease and I'm still liable for anything my homeboy does while being in that apart, being in that apartment complex. So it ain't me getting abused. The truth always comes out, remember that. Okay, so basically Meech is saying that she was, she possibly, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I think she's implying. She's implying that she she was getting abused, okay, previously. She's out of that situation now, thankfully, okay? And now she's not the one being abused. Now it's Cammy that's getting abused, all right? But I feel like a lot of people came for me saying that she cheated and she did this and she just left her and she dogged her out. Not only that, she also left the son, you know, which was heartbreaking. But I feel like there was a lot more reasons why Meech just had to dip, okay, regardless. And I don't care what you say, sometimes you cannot stay just for the child, okay? First of all, that wasn't even Meech's child. Of course, they formed a bond over the years, but if you're dealing with somebody, especially who was abusive towards you, sometimes you have to go no contact, okay? I'm not, I can't pick old boy up. I can't, I can't do the things that I used to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to, I have to affiliate myself with you, which that's the last thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get away from you, so why would I keep in contact with you? Sorry, little boy, we had a great connection. You were like my son, but at the end of the day, maybe in the future we can link back up or whatever the case, but sometimes you gotta go cold turkey and just cut it all off, just depending on how volatile the situation is and how serious the situation is, okay? And obviously, how Meech is saying, or how Meech is explaining it, it was pretty serious, okay? She, so she says, but I'm sure they got more lives for y'all soon talking about prank or something, all right? So basically, she's saying that they're probably gonna come out and say they were doing some pranks and that's why the they, they were making a lot of noise. That's why they got the complaint. That's why the apartment sent out that notice because they were doing pranks 
when really in all actuality, old girl was probably getting hit on or whatever the case may be, okay? So that is hot ass tea on Nate and Meech, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, how do you guys feel about what you guys just heard? Abuse of any kind is never okay. All right, if someone is putting them, their hands on you, just know that that is not love. That is not, you know, how am I gonna put hands on somebody that I actually care about? It doesn't make any sense at all. And if you feel like it does make sense, then you have been programmed to believe that that is a form of love. But I am here to tell y'all that that is not healthy. It is not love and get them away from that person, okay? Jalen Post, truth always comes out. That's just on that. I love how my baby stands up for herself no matter what anyone has to say. You're strong as fuck. I admire the fuck out of you, okay? So yeah, man, that is the tea on Nay and Meech. Nay and Meech breakup exposed even further, okay? So more details are coming out slowly and slowly and slowly. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about it, man. Obviously, Meech felt like she needed to defend herself in some type of way, and this was the perfect opportunity to do so. And it is what it is, man. I'm praying for Nay. I'm praying for Meech as well. Also the son. I'm praying for Jalen and Cammy too, you know. I hope that all of them get everything that they want in life. Much peace, abundance, prosperity, love, and no corona, okay? Anyway, guys, I love y'all so much. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, man. Let me know also what you are eating for dinner tonight. Don't even know what we're eating yet. But just know, man, I'm going to be eating something, glory to God, because we have food to eat, all right? Make sure you count your blessings, not your problems. If you have not already, man, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell, so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today, Angel Mom, today Uncle Joe, he's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we are.